I love being afraid. I love being overwhelmed. And I love being tired. Here's why. Okay, ladies, I'm back, and I understand that today's topic, you might be like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I'm always here to help you, to challenge you, to show you some mindset shifts or, you know, give you insight to tools or strategies um, or game changers that have helped me in both my personal and professional life, whether it is personal relationships, parenting, my health, um, or just living in alignment. And so for the remainder of the month of July, I'm really going to be focused on women and business, motherhood and business, because I, to be honest, one of the most common questions that I receive is is about balance of some sorts. And it doesn't matter if the symptoms are showing up in your parenting. It all starts with us. We are the root cause. And we have to look at ourselves. It is not about anybody else outside of us. It's this connection and relationship that we have within ourselves and how we're presenting that to the world. So, backstory. Today, on the day that I'm recording this, I went to go get an ultrasound and some blood work. I had to get an ultrasound on my arm because I have a little lump on my arm and some routine blood work that my naturopath gave me. So for those of you who are not familiar with my story, five years ago I was diagnosed with a stage four uh, Burkitt's lymphoma, which is Burkitt's is sporadic tumors all over uh, your abdomen. And lymphoma is obviously within the lymphatic system that runs throughout the whole entire body. So I had these giant tumors in my abdomen and because I put myself on the back burner for so long in my life, I was swollen. And by the time I went to the doctors, they're like, how the F are you still walking? Like, are your kidneys still functioning? Like what's going on? So needless to say, uh, my body was rocked and I had to go through crazy treatment and um, intense recovery. And it's not ever that you know, your, your body is always sending you signs and symptoms. So I found this little lump on my arm. My, my, um, doctor thinks it's nothing, but of course, you know, we're looking into it. Routine blood work, not a fan of getting blood work. So my alarm, like, you know, of course, anytime you go get tests done, you freak out a little bit. And so I, okay, here's the thing. Here's what I'm trying to say. We procrastinate on the things that we have to do that scare the shit out of us. So something like getting a test done when you've had, you know, past negative crap, you might resist. Even if you've had like the greatest health ever, maybe you're not a fan of getting your blood taken. But it's like the things that we have to do that we know are going to help us the most in our life and in our business are typically the things that we resist the most. And here's the reason why I thoroughly enjoy now being afraid, overwhelmed, and tired. Because fear, overwhelm, and fatigue are doorbells. These are your body's way of saying, pay attention to me. Now, I was not aware of this. I had to wait until the universe punched me in the face and said, wake the fuck up, Heather. So when I am scared of something, like paralyzing fear, whether that is sending an email, having an uncomfortable conversation with somebody, um, whether it is going to get blood work, getting that ultrasound. It is about doing those things that you are afraid of. And here's a quick tip. The way the brain works, it's always designed to keep you safe. So 
It's about prioritizing fear, literally prioritizing fear and making sure that you're putting this on your calendar because I know that I have to go and get this ultrasound. I know that I have to go get this blood work. And if I don't schedule it, it's not going to happen. Also, I had the ultrasound scheduled once and guess what happened? I just, I forgot about it and it actually kind of like, I didn't even see it on my calendar because I was so scared. So when you prioritize fear, you're doing the things that you need to do that are going to give you the most energy and space in your life. What do I mean by that? When I prioritize doing the things that scare me the most, aka going to get this ultrasound, going to get the blood work, what I'm doing is actually getting closer to my goal, which is making sure that I'm still healthy. And if I'm not, it's catching it way in advance rather than putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and then something exploding in my face before, you know, and then it might be too late. So I, even though I'm feeling great and I was afraid of getting this test, once I got the test and then I still have to wait for the results, I'm going to feel like a load off my back, which is going to give me more energy. But here's the thing. If I didn't prioritize fear, if I didn't put those uncomfortable tasks on my to-do list, what would happen? I would avoid I would subconsciously, this like fear and anxiety would be building and building and building and building. My symptoms may have gotten worse. I would go back to my natural path, my, um, my functional medicine doctor, and I would say, oh, you know, there, how's this problem? How's this problem? And you know what she would say to me? Well, let's look at your blood work. Like, let's make sure your panel's good. Let's do a check-in. I'd be like, well, I didn't get my blood work. And she's going to say, well, Heather, we can't move to step two until you have step one done. So then I'm going to be angry and frustrated. Like, oh, I'm going to keep putting it off, putting it off. Not realizing that subconsciously I'm just adding more weight and pressure on myself. So when I schedule things that scare the shit out of me, it actually gives me more freedom in my life. I'm pushing through a barrier, I'm pushing through the fear, and on the other side is going to be freedom. Because also with those lab results, with my blood, I can also start start taking different supplements, I can take my health to the next level, so it's not just about, you know, am I still healthy, am I not sick, it's about how can I, how can we gain more energy, how can we gain more vibrancy, how can we thrive even more? Do you get it? So the reason why, secretly, I love being afraid, I love being overwhelmed or tired, is because now this is not my everyday existence. These are symptoms. These are doorbells. These are red flags that if I don't listen to the first time, they will keep coming around on a daily basis until you're ready for a wake-up call. So where in your life are you avoiding looking at your fear? Where in your life are you avoiding looking at why you're overwhelmed? Where in your life are you not even paying attention to why you are so tired? And an even bigger question, what are you going to do to turn it around? Motherhood, business, and impact. Are you a seasoned business owner? or professional woman who continuously asks herself, is it even possible to feel in alignment both at home and work? The answer is yes, and I am living proof that this is possible. But it does take new skills, different strategy, and mindset in order to achieve the alignment that your soul craves. I get so many questions, emails, DMs on Instagram from you guys asking me, Heather, how do I do it? And I'm not going to lie, there is no one size fits all, but there's a lot that works for people and that I've noticed work for my clients as well. 
So I've decided to offer this free information session where I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to pull back the curtains. I'm going to show you what my calendar looks like. I'm going to answer your questions. This is non-scripted and just help you authentically help you for those of you that are in business that are unclear on how to balance both. And I use that term lightly balance. Um, And at the end of this, I'm also going to be introducing my Soul Elite coaching program. So this is a year-long coaching experience where I'm literally pulling back the layers with you guys. And these are established business owners and professional women who want to be around like-minded women who want to elevate and want more in their lives. And you've already checked the professional, um, you know, the cultural approach appropriate, successful boxes. You have the career, you have the money, you have the family, and yet you're burnt out. You feel out of alignment. You feel like there's not enough time in a day in order to achieve what you desire. So I'm here to call you out on your BS to help you create that solid strategy and also help you manifest the life that you truly crave. Because let's be honest, you have one life and one opportunity to make an impact. So you have two options here. If you want to find out more information about Soul Elite, then you have to fill out an application and then you and I are going to get on the phone for an introductory call to see if it's a good fit. So head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash Soul Elite and fill out that application. But if you're still sitting on the fence and you're not sure and you want um, some introductory information first, then go ahead and register for that free webinar. You can get that at heatherchauvin.com forward slash business.